As many of you know by now, I had a bit of an unusual undergraduate experience. I went to this tiny little school, St. John's College in Annapolis, Maryland. And there, we didn't have any majors we declared or anything like that. But we all did the same program, which was to read the various great books of Western civilization in the course of our four years. And now, while I can't speak for everyone, um, I do know many people there, including myself, who were very much focused on truth. Because the way we studied, uh, the way we read these books, the way we went to class not to learn lectures about these things, but to actually discuss the words that we had read, and uh, the fact that we weren't just learning about the various thinkers, but we were actually reading their own words. I think this kind of education lends itself to being very focused on the truth. Because you're not just focused on what, what is this person about, what do they say, but you're focused about what you can learn from them. The books become your teachers, your professors. And so it really does lend itself to focusing on truth. You're not just reading these things to figure out what they're saying, but you're, you're reading them to figure out what do they actually have to say? What do these people actually have to say about what's going on in the world? What's going on in reality? And I say this because I think the wise men probably had a very similar mindset. We hear that they study the stars, that they probably read the ancient text of astronomy, maybe some of the one, very ones that we read at St. John's. And as they study the stars, they notice one in particular, marking out the coming of the king of the Jews. Now we know that this king is actually the Messiah. And we know that it wasn't just for the Jews that the Messiah came, but that Messiah came through the Jewish people to be a light to the world, to bring us all back to God. But the wise men are still learning, and they're still trying to suss out the truth. All they know at this point is that the star marks someone that they need to go and give homage to. The star marks where they need to go to learn more. And on this way, they go to where they think the logical place would be to find knowledge. They go to the palace. They're looking for the king of the Jews, right? Where else do you find a king but in the palace? But the thing is, is that they do not find the king of the Jews, the Christ child, the Messiah, there in the palace. Fortunately for them, the, the king is at least able to gather up those who would know where the Messiah is. And then they learn that the Messiah is to be born in Bethlehem, a tiny little village, not where you expect a king to be born. There was a wise man when I was in Israel, our leader Greg, who told us that the power of Messiah is found in the village, not in the palace. God's power is made manifest, not in the place where you would think it would be manifest in the least likely place. Our own patron saint, Paul, says this in another way in 2 Corinthians. That the power of God is made perfect in weakness. We might expect God to be found with the mighty, with the powerful, what we often find instead is that God is found in the places that those of this world 
would deem to be the weakness. Now, this season that we're in now, Epiphany, that we have started in today, the celebration of Epiphany, is not just about, uh, contrary to popular belief, the wise men. It's about the power of God being made manifest in the world. It's about the incarnation and the various ways that God is made manifest to us through Jesus Christ. So this is a very good season as we talk about God being manifest in this world. For us to go and seek him out. For us to go and see where we might find our Lord and Savior in our lives and in the world. And when we do so, let's look at the ways in which Jesus has made himself manifest in the world. He didn't do so in a palace. He did so in a village. Jesus didn't make himself manifest in the power and might of the kings and rulers of this world. But God made his power manifest. 